Jeff, so so good to see you again. Um, Likewise. So I'm, I'm, I'm deeply interested in your podcast because it goes far beyond shooting from what I've seen and understand of it. And, mm -hmm. and to me, that's, that's extremely intriguing. Are you finding that your podcast and the guests that, that come on, are they also, do, do they look far outside the gun community? That's what I'm seeing, but it, are you looking to take it far beyond just the gun community? Is that where you're going with this? Well, yeah, the original, idea behind the show was not to necessarily pigeonhole us as a as a two-way firearms training uh gun related podcast the point behind the podcast was hey we want to look at what's the secret to success how have how have those that we recognize as being successful how have they achieved success and when i started to kind of unravel that the big the the thing that stood out to me was that so many of them had a lot of a lot of failures a lot i shouldn't say a lot of failures but they had failures and they had a lot of obstacles that they had overcome in order to be successful and and those that were successful no matter the obstacles found solutions and a lot of those solutions what we're discovering can kind of fall into some common out like some common Comedies. buckets if you will like there's yeah. some, there's this bucket you know there's this bucket there's this bucket there's this bucket so we're, we're finding that these successful people either have combinations of the buckets or they kind of reside in a single bucket as far as what they were doing to be successful so mm -hmm. you know i'm not i'm not comfortable or ready yet to kind of start to identify what those buckets are because we still you know we've got about like 33 ish podcasts that we've done so far um, I want to kind of keep tracking this and find out like, okay, is this just me or was this just the first batch of guests that all kind of fit <laughs> into these buckets? What's the deal? But it's very interesting to see that. Um, we've had some 2A community folks. Uh, obviously, we had uh, Juan Avila come on. He uh, obviously is the captain of AR15.com. He's kind of steered that ship. We've had some other folks from within the industry, and and it's not like we're excluding the industry from from coming on board. It's just that's not a precursor to being being invited. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. really, what we're looking for are those that have, and I'm not talking about success through a silver spoon. I'm talking about those that really had to uh, overcome some challenges that maybe the general public, you know, the 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 idea that I had in my head is that somebody could be in a situation where they are confronting a lot of difficulties, challenges, whatever you want to call them. And maybe they're up against the wall. Maybe they're having a hard time navigating through this. Maybe they are also at that breaking point where it's just like, okay, screw it. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if I want to go down this road. And so by identifying some of these key characteristics from successful people and sharing that information with the general audience, the hope is that, oh, wait a minute, uh, I can do that. That's something that, you know, that's, I could, I could figure out, I could, I can do that. And so it's kind of like bringing the secret sauce, if you will, to the general public when mm -hmm. it comes to those that have been recognized as successful. And we define success in a very broad stroke. It's not necessarily right. a monetary value right. or the number mm -hmm. of likes that you have. It's, it's in your own field of expertise. And, and we've had a very eclectic um, group of guests that have come on everything from, you know, folks that are in the fitness industry, we've got folks that are in the entertainment industry. Uh, we have folks that are on the political spectrum. We've got best-selling authors. You know, it's been fantastic. And I've really, like I said, I really enjoyed it more than I thought I was. 